and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some mid-range Frostbite. We're going to bring back one of the classic decks that uh, has been just a real powerful deck for a while. And I think this could be in a really good spot right now with a lot of people playing Lee Sin. I think Frostbite's a really good way to deal with Lee Sin. This is just a, a powerful deck that has the new card Troll Chant. That card's looked really good um, where you can give an an enemy minus two minus zero also to make it zero power so it can't block for ash or you can reduce the power of something for culling strike with the troll chant that's also pretty good deck has a lot of card advantage with trifarian assessor even though trifarian assessor now costs five mana it's still quite a good card it has really beefy units avaros and hearth guard avaros and trapper bring along enraged yetis so you got some beefy units um, Trifarian Glory Seeker being that challenger is amazing these days. It's a great way to fight Lee Sin and Zed having Trifarian Glory Seeker. It's got a lot of great stuff, and then it has some super powerful cards like uh, Reckoning um, that just you know can can be a huge a huge like three for one, four for one stuff like that. Clear up a lot of boards. You know, Sejuani the top end kind of got a lot of great stuff. So let's let's give it a try. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked. Our Lulu Taric deck just didn't really work. We tried it with all the supports and everything. Just didn't work. We, we went 0-5. Um, we played like one or two close games, but for the most part, we weren't, weren't even too competitive. Taric's just pretty tough. Uh, we have one other donation deck, though, with Taric Lux. So we'll play that one later, but those of y'all watch it on YouTube. It's just not even going to be posting the, the Lulu Taric us going 0-5 with that one. Um, so we'll be down one video today. So sorry about that. Um, but we'll... We're hopefully going to have the, the Lux version will hopefully be our lucky Taric deck. Um, hopefully. Alright, we're going to play against some Nightfall to start off with mid-range. Frostbite. Ooh, love having Omenhawk on turn one. This is just a pretty good hand. You know, I'm just going to keep all this stuff. We'll probably have the... You know, turn three, just have the, the spell mana. Save the spell mana. That's a fine turn saving spell mana. Probably have the Babbling Bjerg on turn four. Maybe Ash on turn five. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you being here every day, Devil, and watching. Night flowers upon my blade. Yeah, Shatter... Shatter is not too bad, but I just don't think it's better than anything in the deck. But Shatter is playable. I'm not playing Glory Seeker this turn, um, unless they play other stuff, but I'm not going to have Diana kill my Glory Seeker. You know, like they pass priority, I play Glory Seeker, then they go dust, dust into Diana. We're not going to have that happen. Alright, so a Mountain Goat. Sharpen the blade, secure we can the play this. They're going to get a gem. Correct, Tony. Love having Trifarian Assessor be 5 power. For glory, face me! I just want to trade those. Use Brittle Steel here. I actually think I just want to try to just normally just trade these. Because again, I'm scared about Diana. Like, I could Brittle Steel. And best case scenario, our Glory Seeker stays alive. But then they go Diana. And kill it, and I wasted my Brittle Steel. I'm going to just hold on to this Brittle Steel to help protect Ash. Um, you know, Ash is just so valuable. I'm going to just hold on to it for that. Uh, but yes, correct, Tony. Yeah, for the donation decks, I don't don't play them that day because uh, you know I have our schedule we kind of set at the beginning of the day. But any other day, you know, you just uh, donate. You tell me what day you want me to play it. It can be tomorrow. Um, you know, it could be next, to, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You know, you tell me whatever day you want me to play it, and you can tell me what time slot: first, second, third, or fourth, whatever you want. The fading memories and pass. Yep, again. 
looks like they're going for Diana. So probably have Pale Cascade also to go along with this Diana. Oh, they're, right, they're just going to use the gem. Also makes sense. I will be heard. Just being a gem, I'm going to just use the Calling Strike right now. Keep Riddle Seal. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Feel pretty confident in us winning this game, but we'll see. They have four cards we don't know about. I feel pretty confident in the cards that we have being able to beat the four cards they have. Keeping Ash here so we can still have Flash Freeze available. So we'll see if we want to go like Flash Freeze plus Cooling Strike or if we want to go Harsh Winds this turn. I don't think this is a Trifarian Assessor turn. I think we got to uh, play some, some defense of Frostbite and some stuff. Especially if they're going to be playing this other Crescent Guardian. Alright, so probably playing Harsh Winds. Embrace the dark. The moon is our queen, the night her kingdom! So this Nocturne's gonna level up. I guess if I do this, Nocturne does not level up. I can do that and have a Flash Freeze. Bleh. Cloaked in silver light. That was the worst case scenario for me, though. So our Ash will die. Would have been a lot more confident in the game if they didn't have that Pill Cascade. But with that Pill Cascade, I'm, I'm less confident now. No one is safe. Less confident now. Uh, yeah, I, I would not want Darius instead of. Yeah, I would I would not play Darius over Sejuani in this deck. One mana short. Next turn's gonna be turn eight. So we'll have eight plus the three is eleven. One mana short of double harsh winds. So Babbling Bjerg gives them another Nocturne, which Nocturne's Unspeakable Horror. That's scary. I'm at two. Heed my words. Torment their dreams. Line up. Yeah, I just drew the Doom Beast. That Pill Cascade won that game. Forgive me, Averosa. All right, good. Just keep this. Not the best place for Ash, but we'll keep it. Hopefully, we find something for turn three. We have three draw steps before turn three. Explosives primed. Good job, Omen Hawk. So we'll have Trapper and Ash. 
unfortunate. That was the best possible card for them, for sure. In position behind you. Over there. Obviously. Damn it. Um, it's still getting there, Noza. It's this game's pretty new. And so not like not super popular. Yeah, because you know, it is new. The Frostbite and the Grenadier, I would trade with Sprayfin with Trapper if they want to make that trade. Okay, so they're blocking, so they deal damage to me for their gangplank. Yeah, it's really fun. Brittle Steel? Two out of five? No. My plan is to kill them this next turn. That's my plan. Just to kill them here. Who's ready for a show? You wanted Do 15 damage to them. And Glory Seeker? What did we catch? I'm sorry, Glory Seeker. I'm one mana short of being able to play you. It found you. Because Ash is at two, so this is gonna be three, four, attacking five. They're just gonna have so they can't block with anything. The time is right. Strike now. As the arrow flies. So nothing can block. I'll lead us to victory. And hopefully Ash leads us to victory. GG's. Alright, one and one. The war is over. Now. Alright, basically playing the same deck. There's playing one Darius at the top end. But playing the same matchup. I'd love to have the same hand. Um Mulligan these. Hopefully draw Omen Hawk. No. Well, we got one more one more chance. Come on, Omen Hawk. That was a really important card last game for sure, keeping them from attacking turn one. It's too bad. I'll burn for what I've done. Ouch. I'm gonna pass. For the Empire. Alright, calling strike that. Oh, thank you, Noza. Looking for trouble. It found you. Yeah. Well, yeah, thank you so much, Noza. So yeah, I'm I'm here streaming this game every day. And so love love to see you here in chat more often. Thanks for stopping by. Dude, yeah, give give this game a shot. It's it is really fun to play, and really well designed. I think it's um, I think it's got a really bright future in the technology age that we're moving towards. All right, so we're gonna have. I think we're gonna go Icefield Archer, Trifarian, Glory Seeker. I think that's the plan. Yeah, that's my plan. A true Felyorian welcome. Nothing but Noxian might! Victory requires a sharp blade. So I was planning on just killing the Demolitionist for free, but I guess it's more important to kill this uh, Basilisk Rider. Remember me. Then getting the free kill. I have my orders. Strike at their foundations. I'll protect the villages. Cool, take these trades. Took the bait. So the one problem with playing the Omen Hawk first is, uh, you know, maybe we put Yeti on top that's not buffed up by Omen Hawk. It's a slight problem. It's not much of a problem. We fight for one Freljord. 
Oh, I love the love the hearth guard draw. Guard's big. And now Yeti will be a six six. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me, Captain. Hot on the trail. You poor thing. Damage to me. Still block this gangplank. These stories were true. Gangplank's gonna be at four out of five. All right, five out of five. I am reborn of salt and dry. So I could cast. I could cast reckoning, and then it trades my three three for their four three. Basically, that so that could save. Let's see, if they attack out... No, I don't think that's worth it. Explosives. Okay. So we don't get to play everything in hand. That requires 12 mana, we have 11 mana. So we're not playing Glory Seeker because we're gonna have Ash, Attack, Frostbite, Gangplank, Reckoning afterwards. All right, they missed. Show me a target. I'm through waiting. Mm. Get ready, girl. Steady. Good blocks by them. We'll be down to just one card, though. One card plus this, this of their drawing. Hopefully they can't do seven damage to me. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, those are good blocks. All right, uh, we're going to draw Ash. Okay, we're going to play Babbling Bjerg. We're going to draw Ash. Darn. Noxus will rise. That's my that was my plan, because another Ash would have would have been the flash freeze. Lead the target. Uh man, down to two. Down to one. If that would have dealt damage to both Ash and me, we would have died. Our strength is yours! But now we open attack and hope they don't draw something that does one damage. Today we fight as one. GG's. Good close game. Attack. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't even attack with my six power things. My six sixes. Just ash into the keg. And then my, I could throw my 3-3 three, three in there just to see what they do with the 3-3. Three, three. And then Reckoning afterwards. It would kind of give up that I would have Reckoning. It would give that up. Yeah. They're going to be playing 4 mana Arachnoid Sentry. They can play any champions they want and they just want to play Arachnoid Sentry as a champion. Bless the people and fear the heretics. Punish transgressions. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Hmm. Okay, cool. They wasted two mana. I didn't I didn't waste any mana. Sunlight guided my brethren. 
Solari Priestess is awesome. Hmm. Man, I want to play Ever as an art card. These stories were true. But that's not my best card to play. My faith protects me. Victory requires a sharp blade. So they're playing Pale Cascade here. Oh, Bastion. Ugh, Bastion's rough. I think it's the plus one, plus one also. That's rough. So that's gonna happen. I guess it's not worth it for me to do any challenging. Devotion through battle! Justice will be served. Ah. Four five rating guardian. Man, I could play Reckoning, but I could guarantee drawing five cards. I think I should guarantee drawing five cards. And they just pass, wasting all that mana. They are wasting a bunch of mana if I just pass back. Sure. You think they're playing Judgment? I wouldn't be expecting Judgment. Yeah, so we can remove the Bastion with this. Clean that up. Clean up on aisle five. GG's, three and one. Sorry, four one rating guardian, or four five rating guardian. Cool. I like Frostbite against Barrier. It doesn't mean that we're going to win, you know, like, it's not like a, we're definitely going to win or anything. I, I just like how those play out against each other. These are all good cards, but I'm not doing anything turn one or turn two. Maybe I mulligan Ash. Yeah, let's mulligan Ash. I want to keep these other cards, though. Cool. We'll have that. Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk. You can sit back and die too, Fiora. They would fall by my blade. By my blade, they will fall. If they're out there, I'll spot them. I was kind of hoping they would single combat and that I would get to trade one of these for single combat. That's what I was hoping. River shape the land and give it life. You can river shape the land and give it life? I will unite the frail yard. We fight for one frail yard. Certainly worried about repost. So they cannot have her post anymore. But now I think it's a free attack. Cool. What form will the water Good trade. The signal fires. They draw a spell, I just draw a card. Twilight sees 
sees all. This is probably worth it. You own what you take. It's probably worth it. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. It must be done. Don't want to see repost. I'll stop you. I'm sorry, Yiji. Understood. Ugh. So yeah, my plan is to like frostbite this this Wolfwing Lancer, get these all to be reckoning a bull, and go for go for that. Guess they are down to three life, because <laughs> we are hitting them really hard. We each defend our brethren. I guess they are down to three life. Uh, Brill steal for this caretaker, because I don't want the Shen to level up. I I fully respect the power of Shen. Mm. Alright, got denied. With me. I'll hey, draw ash. Trapped in the ice. Oh, that's not bad. These woods belong to us. Five two. Need my words. I save troll chant for ash and like these other cards. Them. All I have to do is play one barrier card and then Lee Sin levels up and Lee Sin's a 5 6. Show them our teeth. So if that's repost, they're probably reposting over here. Single combat. Uh, plus, minus. Where are we at? We're at four out of five for Ash. So I can just attack and they can't block <clears throat> right now. Or we can uh, draw four cards. How do we even lose if they attack can't block? I guess they have barriers because then, then they pump these things up and then they get to block, right? Okay, and then you they have like the a single right combat or something. That was good. That was worth it. So now Glory Seeker, Culling Strike, Brittle Steel. Let's see, five total mana. Chant, maybe. That's nine damage. I can stop four, five. That's exact amount of damage. Yeah, I should I should have started with Troll Chant. That should have been my first play of Troll Chant on the Shen. That should have been the first play. You fought well. I need just a moment. Our banner will lead the way. You're mine. Oh, 
All right, GGs. Still four and one. Lost a close one with that first one, and then it picked up four wins in a row. Mid-range Frostbite is still really good. I'm not sure why there's not as many people playing this deck. It's definitely a deck that, like, whenever I'm playing it, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to win every game um, whenever I'm playing it. Now, obviously, you don't win every game. That's not how it goes. But it's it's a deck that I'm confident in uh, when playing. Ash is just strong. Frostbite is strong. And some of these other cards, Reckoning, Culling Strike, definitely in a good spot. And so, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why not, more people aren't playing this deck. But yeah, every, every time I play it, I do uh, really well. All right, but that's Midrange Frostbite. It's still good. If you had these cards from before, break this deck back out. It's still a really good one if you want to be ranking up with it. If this, if this is a deck you like playing, you like playing Ash, you like playing uh, beefy units, um, yeah, keep giving this deck a try. But anyway, that's it here for Midrange Frostbite. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.